Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples, peep squad is in the building, baby. We going to the top. We're going to bring others with us. So let's get it popping. Let's get it cracking, lacking with Tokyo Tony and Black China. The trailer has been released for Black China's new documentary that's going to be out here on wow. Zeus Network. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be out of sight. It's going to be something like, I was just like, OMG, when I saw it the trailer it was crazy black china tokyo tony going back and forth at each other yelling and screaming but tokyo tony yelling and screaming because she wanted black china to go to therapy and yes black china needs therapy so does tokyo tony needs therapy too as well but i was like damn and it's also saying that there's going to be a lot of fights between the mother and her daughter. And we know the situation between Tokyo Tony and Black China where it played out in the media where Tokyo Tony was saying all these terrible things about Black China. That she was a rape baby. She hates her. She don't ever want to see her again. She disowned her and all types of stuff. And we've seen the videos of Tokyo Tony on the side of the road on a corner changing in bathrooms telling us that she was homeless. You know smoking blunt, smoking weed, you know just chilling with people on a block chilling with people she did know from back in the day and just basically sometimes living out of her car too as well we've seen that part but also tokyo tony seems cool she seemed down to earth like she seems like she can be a good friend but a good mother is where you have to pump the brakes because it's like damn you don't raise um black china Okay, you know, she did go to college, so we like that. And also, Black China picked up how to be a hustler, how to survive, how to make money, and use what she got to get what she wants. And that's what she's been doing because she learned it from my mama. Because you, have you seen the videos of her mother trying to get what she wants or the guys that she sees on side of the road and she's talking to them and stuff like that? You'll understand. But there's a different level. Black China game is on top with getting what she want with what she got. And she also did use her brain too as well. But damn, like to watch these two ladies like argue and fight on a trailer and Black China grabbed a bottle and she wanted to hit her mother. Her mother's talking about, I'm done. I think her mother said, I hate you. I'm leaving. I'm like, OMG, like this is just so crazy. Like the grandkids don't need to see this documentary or this trailer, but maybe this trailer will help somebody that has... You know, a situation like this in their life where they don't get along with their parents. But it just really seems sad. It also seems like Tokyo Tony's kind of jealous of her daughter. And it could go all the way back to her daughter just being light-skinned. Because her mother came up in that time where if you was dark-skinned and light-skinned, it was really emphasis on you you know you being dark-skinned and you're not really that liked. And her having the light-skinned baby and seeing what Black China went to the top basically you know she got with the kardashians she got with you know um tiger she was dancing she went to school she got mansions she got houses she got cars she has a skincare line she has all types of stuff going on like she got money she's not broke and she's also um do appearances for a lot of money too as well so i don't know if her mother's kind of jealous of that situation or feels like black china owes her something does black china owe tokyo tony something <sighs> I'm just going to say, if it was my mother, I would try to snatch her up off the corner, off the block, off IG. Let, let me get you in counseling. Let me get you some help. You know, I love you. Let me try to help you as much as I can. I don't know if Black China tried that too as well because at one point in time, Tokyo Tony was on a show with the Kardashians, but... Tokyo Tony could have felt out of place like she don't belong and she felt like maybe her daughter could have been siding with the Kardashians with just rich people period and felt like she didn't belong because she had insecurities too as well and not having her daughter coddled her you know what I'm saying because it seems like Tokyo Tony does have a lot of um dysfunction going on she has a lot of issues because she's been raped she's been abused she's been homeless she's been on drugs but at the same time she do try to help people and she tried her best to raise her daughter black china so it is what it is with that situation. But if Black China feels hurt, betrayed, and don't understand why her mother's doing the things that she did, then that may neglect her or may stop her from helping her mom, mother because she can feel like her mother's her enemy, like her mother's her, her mother's trying to bring her down and hurt her too as well because we know Black China be out there. She she be out there. She's about that. You know, she was fighting with Alexis Scott. They almost got into it. You know, she's fighting at the rollers at what, Six Flags. You know, somebody tried to touch her baby and she was not having it. And then on top of that, her hairstylist, you know, allegedly she came after her hairstylist with a weapon or knife, allegedly. And, but Black 
Black China ain't gonna back down, just like Tokyo Tony ain't gonna back down too as well. So they do have a lot of the um, sim similarities. <laughs> they do have both of the same type of characteristics. Um, so it's just like, damn. Like, it was just sad to see, like, damn, you want to see them happy, enjoying life, having a good time, sharing, bonding, love, you know, something else. Like, if they do have to work on their problems, but not cussing and fussing and trying to fight each other and hurt each other because they are both hurt by one another. Black China's hurt by her mother. Um, Tokyo Tony's hurt by her daughter. She probably feels neglected. She probably feels like, my daughter got all this, and I'm homeless, I'm living on the street, I'm getting dressed, and, um gas station bathrooms and things like that and we have seen tokyo tony be evicted from houses kicked out the cops called on her so we don't know how much you know black china has tried to help her mother and it just blew up in her face and we have tokyo tony out here talking about you know she was siding with rob trying to get money out of rob trying to get money out of chris jenner and all types of stuff you know what i'm saying so it's a just a whole crazy situation and now it plays out right before our eyes on a trailer I hope they get their money's worth. I hope at the end that they both seek some help and some counseling because this is not what the grandbabies need to see. This is not the image that we want to see of two young African-American black women, you know, trying to make it in society where they beat each other down verbally. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, they try to attack each other physically. That's not some shit that we want to see, especially from a mom and a daughter. You know what I mean? We want to see some love. We need to see love. We need love, baby. So hopefully... With filming this documentary, Black China and Tokyo Tony at the end will get help and get counseling and show that you can work through your problems, your situation, no matter how bad it gets, no matter how much you dislike the person, there's some way that you can work it out and be cordial and love each other. Peace, I'm out. One love to all my peeps and my peoples.